With the Advantec subfloor assembly, you can be sure that you're building a reputation on something stronger. And the best builders, well, they may always stand apart, but they never stand alone. So ask yourself, are you bringing your A-game? Pete Yost here for the Unbuild It podcast, filming live today from my basement in Durham, New Hampshire, and we're going to talk about the Santa Fe Ultra 70 dehumidifier. So we're going to start by taking a look at this part of the finished basement. So on the left, there's a louver door that goes into the utility space or the unfinished basement, and on the left, there is a door that goes into the laundry room. So we're going to head into the laundry room and see what's going on there. And what we've got is the Santa Fe Ultra 70 dehumidifier. And it is set up. 8 inch duct pulls air from the finished basement, runs it through the dehumidifier, and then 8 inch duct out the back dumps that slightly warmed and of course drier air into the unfinished basement. And you can see here that I have the kilowatt meter hooked up in line with the plug for the dehumidifier and right now the background draw is about 4 watts for the sensor but the dehumidifier is off. And so just want to show you that as we walk into the unfinished part of the basement you can see that this is where the 8 inch duct delivers the fully conditioned air. So it's slightly warmer because of the heat generated by the dehumidifier, but also quite a bit drier. And so you could say, well, aren't I depressurizing the finished space and pressurizing the unfinished space? And the answer is no. So I've got my digital. Uh, pressure gauge here from TEC, the DG1000, and because the door is three foot louvered, it's essentially an open space, open communication. There is no real pressure difference between the two spaces. And here it's reading zero because the dehumidifier is not on. But when I turn on the dehumidifier, uh, we still get no pressure difference between the two spaces. But one of the other key parts of this is that I've hooked up the uh, Ultra 70 from Santa Fe with their recommended Honeywell Humid Pro remote sensor. So the sensor is in the finished space and I'm going to kick it up a little bit, I'm sorry, down a little bit to engage the dehumidifier. Alright, you could hear it go on. So now what's happening is the dehumidifier is pulling air in through the 8 inch duct from the finished space through the dehumidifier and you can hear it's running and it kicks the conditioned air, the dehumidified and slightly warmed into the unfinished basement because of the open louvered door there's no pressure difference and ultimately that fully conditioned air makes its way back into the finished space. And as you can see here, I'm hoping you can see this meter, it's now showing that it's about 430 watts draw. So super efficient uh, dehumidifier doing a great job pulling the moisture out of the basement and it is being controlled by the Humid Pro sensor from Honeywell. Now one last thing which is the Honeywell Humid Pro is reading 48 percent so I'm going to compare that to a couple other ways of measuring and you can see here that the hobo is reading 57% relative humidity, 58, and the quick nav from Delmhorse is reading 62. There's quite a bit of difference between the Humid Pro and a slight difference between the quick nav and the hobo, but it just goes to show you it's not that easy to measure relative humidity. I'm going to continue to use as a sort of an actual percentage the hobo and run the Humid Pro accordingly, but uh, basically a good system 
to fully condition the air in our basement efficiently and with a remote sensor using the finished space to gauge just how much moisture we're pulling out of the whole system. That's it from Pete Yost, the Unbuild It Podcast.